Thank you Metamucil for sponsoring this video. It can be a dreaded task getting anything in or out of your freezer if it's not organized. I have several organizational hacks to share with you along with some healthy tasty make ahead slow cooker meals. The premium blend is sweetened with stevia. Metamucil promotes heart health by lowering your cholesterol and it also helps to control your cravings and curves your appetite by making you feel more full and it also helps to manage healthy blood sugar levels. The Hubster and I like to use Metamucil Premium Blend. It's sugar free, it helps us feel lighter, more energetic, and more regular and we both feel great. It contains psyllium which is a husk fiber which gels to trap and remove the waste that weighs you down and what I love most about it is that the formula is made with ingredients you can feel good about like natural colors and flavors. Alright babe, how does it taste? It tastes good actually. Yeah it does taste good. <laughs> it tastes good. <laughs> To make it easier to transport your Metamucil on the go, try this simple hack using the lid off your Parmesan cheese jar. Your Parmesan lid will fit any small mouth mason jar perfectly, and you have a way to transport any beverage. The hole on the shaker lid is the perfect size for big smoothie straws. To learn more about Metamucil, I'll provide a link down below. End your frustration of trying to freeze your leftover soups and chilies without everything tipping over and try out this freezer cube by MIO. It's designed to allow you to lay the bags of food in flat and the air holes will circulate and not only freeze it flat, it will also freeze it fast and it will also thaw fast. It also comes with labels so you can identify your items and it's also great for meal prepping, portion control, and you can even download a free freezer inventory sheet where you can laminate it and reuse it. This cube reminded me so much of our letter tray that we use and I thought I'd get another one to try in our freezer for our make ahead slow cooker meals. And I'm making ahead chicken noodle soup. I've already washed and seasoned my chicken breast and the veggies are all prepared and I'll add my noodles halfway through the cooking process. The great thing about making freezer meals ahead of time is that they don't require any cooking time so they are very easy and very quick to prep. I'll usually take a meal out the night before because you don't want to cook it uh, frozen. You want to make sure that it's thought out. Passion for Savings is a blog thread that I've been using for a while and that's where I got a few of her slow cooker recipes. I've laminated them so I can reuse them. They're so helpful and useful because the directions are on them for the cooking time, the ingredients, and of course the name of the recipes. Easy enough for the hubster to do when I'm running late. When it's not in use, I keep them in my kitchen binder and if you guys like to see how I pulled my binder together, let me know in the comments. Freeze events are so popular now and this is proof that they last a very long time. Mine I've had for six years and they are from TJ Maxx and I have not seen this color since then. The colors they make now are just clear. It's just clear. And I have a variety of different sizes for different needs and I will share that with you on how I keep all of my items organized. But first let me show you my food saver. It's definitely a lifesaver. It's a vacuum sealing that is the best way to guarantee that your meats and veggies and anything that you want to extend for a long period of time in your fridge or your freezer every time and there's a place to write what's inside and a place for the date which helps to keep track of expiration dates. Here's a tip. Most recipes call for a dollop of tomato paste and then you usually discard the rest. Don't throw it away. Get yourself some shot glasses or condiment cups with lids from your grocery store. Get a tablespoon to drop dollops of tomato paste into the containers and place in your freezer. It will last up to three months. Look how much you could have wasted if you threw the rest away. Now I'm going to share how I've put my containers to use in our upright freezer. You may remember our deep freezer. It was perfect for storing bulky items. I added four six gallon stack and carry recycle bins that are from the container store and they were only $9.99 each. They're ideal for narrow spaces, but since then our deep freezer has died and we now have an upright freezer. It works perfectly for our family. The top shelf have our make ahead slow cooker meals in a letter tray that I shared with you guys earlier and freezing the meals flat helps to maximize your storage space. After the meals are frozen, you can place them inside a freezer bin, saving you even more space. 
Cheeses, sausages, and smaller freezer bins are on the second shelf. And did you know you can freeze cheese and butter, but do not freeze the block cheese because it will be all crumbly. The smaller freezer cube is for leftover soups and stews, and our bulk beef is kept inside the pull-out drawer. We shop at Sam's Club, and you all know how those big packages are, and the drawer is perfect for storing bulky box odd-shaped items. Our chicken and pork is below that, and the large bin has a divider so you could put thighs on one side and drumsticks on the other side, and a small bin for pork meats. And I also have a small bin for our reusable ice packs. And having the bins label really helps with killing time when it comes to stocking up the freezer. I hope some of you can implement some of these ideas into your own freezer, and I want to thank you all for watching.